So if you're going to travel the world, what's one of the number one things you need to bring with you? Your tech, of course, cameras, phones, power banks, whatnot. Where are you going to put all of it? Well, I have a suggestion for you, and that is the Tripped Tech Bag Organizer. I have been a tech bag collector for years now. Um, I have just a few examples for you. This is my most recent one. It's a very simple three sleeve, you could say, or pocket organizer. It most basically gets the job done, but it's very small. It, it's sort of accordions to get bigger. But you're just not going to fit like uh, power bricks in there or hard drives. On the other extreme, you have these big boys. This one is a mono price. Uh, these generic types of organizers. There's thousands of them online, if not tens of thousands. And they mostly get the job done. This is a bunch of my older tech in here. But it's just bulky, and I feel like it doesn't meet my needs. This is a more modern one. That one was from seven or eight years ago. This one has two sleeve openings or zipper openings but still big and I don't really want to I can't fit this in my carry-on easily without taking up half the space enter the tripped the tripped I found out about online just a few months ago and I bought it it has these nice leather accents I don't know if it's real leather or not but it feels feels good and you'll be amazed at how much fits in here why don't I open it up for you Ta-da! And it has this nice accordion opening. It sits flat, so you don't want to dump everything out, but it's a flat bottom. And look at all the stuff that I have in here. I'm going to show you my power brick for my new MacBook Pro, M1 Pro. Check out the review for that with its braided cable. I have a Apple Watch charger. I have, um, let's see here, just a standard lightning cable. I have a USB-C to lightning cable. I have a USB-C to USB-C. This is for my Surface Duo. Check out that review as well. I have a adapter for my iPad Pro with the USB-A, SD card reader, headphones, and USB-C power. It's a little magnet bracket. This is a subject maybe for something else, but I'm still puzzled why there's no USB-C data port on all of these adapters. It's like you plug it into the one USB-C port on your iPad Pro and then you don't have a USB-C port anymore. You only have the USB-C power port, not for data, but that's another issue. I have my Lacey hard drive here. This is a standard spinning hard drive, not an SSD. I have my CalDigit SSD, this little guy, which I don't think they sell anymore. There's a f two or four terabyte. This is only 512 but it's something like 400 bucks. This was, I believe, around 150 but I haven't been able to find it. I do have another Samsung, actually. I got this one. This is a 2 terabyte SSD, and I'll review this separately, but I picked it up for about 160 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good deal for a fast drive with my M1 MacBook Pro. What else do we have here? We have a USB-C to USB-A cable, and uh, I added this so that I don't have to be frustrated with putting the um, connector in the wrong way. You know how frustrating that can be. USB-C was supposed to solve all that. And although it is two-way, it doesn't matter what, which way you put it in. Of course, like Apple's Lightning, not all USB-C cables, as you probably well know, work with the devices that you want them to work with. For example, I have a... This merits another review on its own. This is this cool, oh, 
timer. I just use it as a clock, but I use it for workouts and just as a clock and it's rechargeable. And it recharges with USB-C, but not all USB-C cables work to recharge it. A standard Apple USB-C cable, actually that's the one cable I don't have here, the USB-C, USB-C, which is plug it in on the, um, into my power outlet. It won't charge this thing, so I have to know which specific USB-C cable to plug in to charge this device and other devices. So for me, you know, let me know in the comments if that's a headache for you too, because um, I thought USB-C was supposed to simplify things, and it's made some things better, but it's also made some things more complicated. So maybe I'll review this guy later, but that's just my little side rant. This is the CalDigit USB-C to USB-C cable. Here we have the, I forget what this is called, eSATA, uh, the hard drive, the lacy cable. And that's in those pouches. You also have a nice mesh pouch, a small one here. And I just put, looks like they give you another little leather pole. And one of these, this is crazy, this world of adapters and cables we live in. This is the lightning to head phone cable. So I don't use this for headphones because I have my AirPods Max and AirPods Pro. I'm going to do a Max uh, review sometime in the future, probably not too long. Um, but I do use this when I'm recording to an iPhone with an external microphone. So I'll plug this into my iPhone because iPhones still have lightning ports, although I hear USB-C is coming soon, maybe this year, definitely by next year. And then I'll plug the microphone cable into that, and that way I can have an external microphone recording good audio into my iPhone, uh, in my case, iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that's just a little guy. I'll drop it right back in there. And then in the middle, you have this nice case for smaller things. This I just dropped in there because I didn't remember where it went to. This is a little um, adapter plate or the top plate for a... a um, mini tripod. I have these which I think you guys will love. The brand is Sun and these are cable organizers and you'll notice them on my various cables. They're a little expensive. I believe it's for an 8 or a 10 pack about 15 bucks but I think it's highly highly worth it. Don't waste your time with these little twist ties or even things with velcro. They're annoying and don't work very well. These things, they pop right next to each other when they're, these are just some extras I have. But here, you'll see, so I slip the cable on or through this little notch there. And then when I want to put it away, it takes a little practice, but once you get it down, that's the way it's going to work. And it's together. It's fine. It's not going to, you know, get all tangled up and do anything stupid. So I'll leave the link for that below along with the trip if you think it's worth checking out. Of course, through Amazon, you have free returns. Although, to be honest with you, they're getting a little hassle with the returns in my experience, but it's still worth doing, you know. If you get something, you like it, you keep it. But if you don't like it, just return it. One of these cool sand disk dual pen drives. So this is USB-C and USB-A. So I can put this into an older MacBook Pro, for example, get some data off of it, and then plug it into my iPad Pro, which I have right over here. And um, I'm just going to leave this inside because I don't want to put everything back. Have an SD card here. You can fit, you know, probably a dozen of them in here if you wanted. Here's another one, and that's the uh, the center pouch. So it still gives you plenty of room. So look at all this stuff that I was able to fit in there, and it's not like it um, is stretching this thing to the limit. It just and this guy I can actually fit in vertically to save even some more space. And I'll put this hard drive in, and I'll put this guy back in. So the trip, in my humble experience and opinion, is the best cable and tech organizer that I've found. It's not going to fit every single possible thing that you would ever want to put in here. There are always more power adapters and more hard drives and whatnot. But it'll fit more than enough 
for a trip, and certainly everything that you would possibly need at hand, even for a long haul flight. I've, I've already flown with this thing across from California to Europe. I only needed to retrieve a few things because I have my kind of a travel game down, you could say. I know what to take with me. And I will give an honorable mention to something that I don't use as a tech organizer, but as just a little travel organizer that I always have with me. And that is this Hill People Gear pouch. It's made in USA, very high quality, high quality zippers. And it's a very simple and small construction. I have a little candy there. Um, what I put in here, I have uh, earplugs for the plane ride. I have uh, eye drops, lip balm, some mints. Especially helps with the ascent and the descent with your ears popping. Maybe um, my phone if I want to keep it right there. And that way I have this little pouch with me at all, all times. And it's much more convenient than even pulling this out. This I keep in my travel or in my... Um, carry-on and it just sits there and it has all my tech because this is stuff that you may need in an emergency you know if you're stranded somewhere for because of flight delays to charge your things one thing i don't have in here is a uh, which i probably should or at least in another part of my backpack is an adapter a travel adapter so that if i'm in the uk or in europe but not at my final destination then i can plug it in and charge if need be. But at the same time, airports uh, are becoming much more friendly uh, and on flights too, uh, as far as the availability of ports to plug in, not just some local plug standard, but USB-A, USB-C more and more. At the airport at Heathrow, they have these stands where you the cable's are already hanging off of it and you just plug in your, your device. Of course, it's better to use your own stuff and not have to rely on that. One more thing that I haven't reviewed yet, but I do very much recommend for iPhone owners, especially iPhones from the last uh, two and a half years, so the 12 model and up, is this MagSafe charger. So let me see if I can find my phone. And so I already have this thing on here, which I guess I could do another review on. Put this to the side. This is a credit card holder. I use it for my gym card. And it pops onto the back. And then it does this origami folding thing. And then you have a, a stand for your phone. And I don't think I'm going to do this whole bit, but then there's a way where you do another little origami thing and you have it horizontally and then you have a stand for your phone. So that's a cool little thing that I always actually have on it. My um, phone feels naked without it. And then on top of that, I have the super thin Pitaka case, which I recommend and, and like. It offers protection, but doesn't make the whole thing too, too bulky. This thing is a power bank made by Anchor and I don't remember the name, but I'll throw down the link below. And it also does the stand business, but it magnetically attaches to your phone, and you can see it's charging. So it's, uh, it's a cool device. It comes in different colors. You can get it on sale time to time. And, of course, you can use it as you're just going about your business. So if your battery's low, you need to still use your phone. You put that on there. It's charging. I don't think it'll give it a full charge from a very low level, but let's say you're at 20%, it'll charge it up to, to at least 80%. So that's the uh, Anchor, I think it's called the Anchor Go power bank, but I'll put the link below. All right, so that's my travel organizer. Do you guys have a better option? Um, I think this one is really worth checking out. I'd say my top three favorite things are about it are the volume of tech you can fit in a small space the fact that it stands like this so you don't have to you know pick it pick around for what you want while keeping it vertical and i would say combining with that that second thing 
the opening makes everything visible. So you see what you have at a glance. It keeps everything protected here in the middle for the smaller, more fragile things. And coupled with, with that, the fact that you can fit the hard drive in there. Actually seeing this specific hard drive, the Lacey with the orange bumper on it, in their advertising is what convinced me to buy it because this way I could have my hard drive with me. This isn't something you want to put in your checked baggage just because you don't know what's going to happen. Personal data, all that stuff. It's just better to have all this stuff with you. It doesn't have to be in your you know pocket or, or right with you, but let's say you have a small suitcase. You could put that in there and then you have a backpack with you, for example. Various rules for the various different carriers. But that is the Tripped Tech Travel Organizer. Tell me what you think about it. Does it look like something you would buy? I think it's great. I like the colors. There are five or six different options that you can choose. I'll drop the link below, but let me know your thoughts. And if you like this video, please do subscribe. Appreciate your support of the channel. This is Nick, Handy Historian, signing off from Warsaw, Poland, right about there. So I flew from California there two weeks ago today. Warsaw, one of the great places in the world. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.